important, beautiful tragedy. Albums surpass your expectations. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a big dreamer and big expectations for myself and like to like set high standards and work as hard as I can to get to it. So, yeah. I mean, I'm excited. I'm proud for where it's been. Yeah, and we're hoping it, it continues to grow throughout you know, the rest of the year and into next year. Did you guys feel pressure right in your debut album? Um, most of it was written already because mm -hmm. it was our first album, so we had been a band for a long time already, so we just already had most of the songs. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see the next album when you are under the pressure and you only have like those few months and you're like, yeah, it should be Wars Are Us. It should be interesting. <laughs> All right. Favorite song to play live and favorite song on the album? Playing live. Either Beautiful Tragedy or Daddy's Falling Angel, and my favorite song on the album is He Said Eternity. My favorite song to play live would definitely be Daddy's Falling Angel. On the uh, album, what do you say? What's your favorite song? Oh, favorite song on the album? Uh, I like Circles a lot. I don't know, I keep going back to that one when I listen to it. Alright. Out on tour with Megadeth, how's it going? Sick. <laughs> yeah, it's totally it's awesome. It's so awesome. And they're all so cool, and Dave is so cool. We heard all these rumors. And we didn't know if he's mean or what to think. He's definitely intimidating, but then at first, and then you get to talk to him, and he's just so nice, such a rad dude, yeah, and it's they're legends, so, you know, it's an honor. Best show so far? <sighs> Michigan? Indiana was really good. Michigan was really good. Michigan. There's been a lot of really good shows. Yeah, we've been tour. pretty fortunate. OzFest, how'd it go? You think the free thing worked? I, th I think it worked. I think it was just oh, like yeah. every other Ozfest, you know. It was, it was packed, packed every, day. every day. As far as, you know, it, it's second stage completely filled. and it was, it was great. The bands were all great. Everybody got along. There was no, like, vaccine feuds with crazy band fighting. It was, everything it was really cool. The Ozfest crew was all really cool, too. We'd heard from some previous Ozfest fans that are our friends that the crew was really strict. And yeah, so it was, nice. Everyone was just really nice and cool, and it went really smooth, and the shows were all packed. It was just a huge success. And we got to meet. Sharon and Ozzy, that was pretty awesome and sick. We got to stand on stage one day and watch them play. It was just like, it was just like surreal, like, how the hell are we standing here right now? Cool. All right, next, you're supporting Ozzy and Rob Zombie, correct? Thoughts when asked about that? My thoughts are, can, are you really asking me this question right now? Yeah. Am I really, really doing this right now? I mean, it's not unbelievable, really. Where were you guys when you Good found out? I know what happened. Me and Jesse and Jeff were at Taco Bell in Houston trying to get the RV fixed. We were driving this brand new RV back to where the hotel was. Maria was at the hotel, I think, right? And uh, we got the call, and then we made the call immediately to them. And we were just all like calling our parents and just freaking Yelling, out. Yelling like little kids. Yeah, freaking out. It's just amazing because we like I, I I always say the same thing, but we are such a new band. We came out in March, you know, and the opportunities that we've had, like going from Ozfest to, to Megadeth to like Ozzy, Rob Zombie, and Madison Square Garden. <laughs> it's it's so freaking sick. It's awesome. Then what? Next tour, headlining? Can we do a headlining tour? Mm -hmm. You think? No. No, not yet. Not yet. We don't, we don't know what we're going to be doing after Ozzy, but Keep there's touring. definitely some tours that we're looking at right now, and you know, we plan to tour, tour up until we start working on the record again, the next record. Yeah. Alright. Small or large venue? You guys have been able to do it all. What do you guys prefer? I mean, it's, it's it, there's like, it's just, obviously the big ones are amazing. I mean, it, but amazing, and they feel great, but a lot of times it depends on the people there. Like, you can have like a hundred people there, but like every person singing the word and their heart is filled, and like the show is just amazing. But then, you know, you're playing in front of 10,000 people, and that's also epic and like mind blowing, and you're just like, whoa. There's, so it really can go both ways, right? Yeah, there's nothing like walking on stage in front of 10,000 people. Yeah, the, <laughs> the energy and like the vibe's amazing, but yeah. Especially when the but like last night we played in, in Albany, My and there was maybe 150, 200 people, and they were insane. It was an and it was one of the best shows we've we had. We even did an acoustic song in the middle of the set, which is hard to do, you know. Mm -hmm. and the whole crowd was singing the acoustic song, and so it's a lot of times it's the heart and the crowd. But I'm 
can't wait to play Madison Square Garden, believe me. I'm like dying. Definitely. Does it piss you guys off that people will reference you to a MySpace band, you know, the whole thing? Um, it gets me irritated. Yeah. No, it doesn't, it doesn't bother him at all. No. It's because I, people always want to, like, do that, you know? Oh, MySpace, come up with some kind of reason why something happened. MySpace is a powerful tool and yeah, it's our band. Definitely. But, and you know, I don't, I don't question that at all. Yep. And it, I don't think that's any, not true. Anybody. But it's like, at the same time, like, we quit our jobs years ago. We've been, like, touring without management, without a deal for a long, like, for a long time, shit clubs, like, and we, we worked really hard to get what we're in. It's like, MySpace didn't give us a record deal mm -hmm. and put us on Ozfest. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but definitely I give credit to MySpace for helping us um, as far as getting new fans to learn who we are and, and getting exposure out there. And it's a great way to be able to talk to our fans every day. All right, some random questions. Who influenced you guys musically? Made you want to be in a band? You want to go first? Kiss, uh, Motley Crue, Rat Poison, Metallica, Megadeth, Ozzy. I mean, those are the bands that were like, I want to, I want to play that. I want to do that. You know? Yeah, and me. I mean, when I was younger, I was influenced by so many bands by my mom. I had a rock and roll mom, and I was just talking to my mom about it last night, and she told me, like, she brought me to, like, Rolling Stones, she brought me to so many concerts, like, she loved Sabbath, she loved everything, so I was inspired by my mom through music, and then I started coming into my own, and, you know, but I'm inspired by, I like all different artists, from, like, really soft melodic, like, Tori Amos, Sarah McLaughlin, to, like, Pantera, Metallica, Megadeth, Ozzy, everybody. So I am literally from one end to the other, just influenced and inspired by all different types of artists and music. Right on. You guys are on tour a lot now. Who's the biggest slob in the band? <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone would have a different opinion of that. Yeah. Um, we all pretty much... I don't know. I mean, there's like Je Jeff's snare box is right here for no reason at all. I mean, Jesse's bag is like the most ridiculously oversized bowling ball of a bag. I mean, I don't know. Everyone's stuff gets on everyone's I guess nerves. we work. There's so much, so I'm much stuff. I'm a girl, so I got so much stuff, too. And, it's all so much stuff in a small space that everyone's stuff is annoying. Nobody's a slob. Yeah. No neat freaks? No, we can't really be neat freaks here. We try, but... Yeah, yeah, you better not try to live in a little small space if you're like that, you know? All right. Are we ready for a woman or a black president? Either or, more power to them. Really, I, I say I hope we are. Yeah, I, hope, I, I hope always we say are too. like I think we are ready for it, and I would I think it'd be. Uh, so, some concerts that we play, the crowds maybe wonder if we are, but I mean I'd hope that we. What are you doing? This scream? Yeah, yeah just scream, ignorance just and stuff. Woman. Yeah, it's pretty lame, but I, I think it's 2007. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be something. Like All right, talk about some highlights. 2007. We only got a couple more months. Anything that sticks out in your mind of this year? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oz, Kitty Tour, Lacuna Coil Tour, with uh, Europe, Europe, the festivals, yep. Ozfest, Megadeth, and then Ozzy. I mean, it's, it's everything sticking yeah, out like a so big porcupine. Yeah. It. It's like I can't even pinpoint. It's because it's been such a like upward thing, like. Everything was great. Like the Kitty Tour was like, amazing. I'm like, I'm, we're on this great tour, you know. And then it just every tour has been progressively better. So everything That's stands really out this year. Yeah. All right. Info on the band. Where can they find it? Uh, MySpace. MySpace, social media. Here's some songs, videos, correct? MySpace yeah, is the best place to get all that stuff. I mean, you can type in in this moment on YouTube, and a bunch of stuff comes but up. But really, MySpace is not media. Anything important is on our MySpace page. Or in this moment.com take you there too. Alright. If I forgot anything, if you want to add anything, say anything, this is your time. I'll, I'll say something. Say I, something. I always want to thank all of our fans, anyone watching this that's a fan of the band. Thank you. You guys are the reason that we've had this success and you know we appreciate you buying our albums and coming to the shows. So many supportive people. It's